if you're anything like me, you will have, when you first started, made a ton of different ammo and, like, upgraded it as soon as you possibly could into copper and progressively done that. But you might not have paid attention when quick things were happening with the tutorials and you might have not worked out how to be able to switch over your ammo. I've seen it in the in-game chat and I had it in my Twitch chat tonight. So here is a quick video on how to set up your gear. So this is your weapons and your actual gear inside Once Human. As you can see in these little workbenches here, there are tons of different types of ammo and you're gonna craft it as you play the game. I'm currently running steel ammo on all my stuff. I haven't upgraded all of my ammo. I haven't unlocked it in the memetics tree yet, but I'll get there. And it's all the same process. In order to change over your weapon type, you need to go into your inventory and you need to click on the gear tab. As soon as you click on that gear tab, you're gonna have your like all of your gear here. We're gonna right click on the one that we want to change. We're gonna go into accessory and then we're gonna go into ammo. Click on the one that you want, make sure you equip it by pressing F. It's that simple. I struggled to do this because I'm not the smartest with gaming and I didn't pay attention to the tutorial. Yeah, that's on me. You can do this with all your other mods too. So make sure you've actually like tried to unlock these and potentially gotten them. Look, I even have optics for this one. Alongside ammo, you can also upgrade your magazine, your tactical, your optic and your muzzle. I don't have any upgrades for that yet. I haven't done that. I haven't delved too far into that, but you can check out what stats it alters over here on the right hand side. As you can see, you can just click on any of these. It'll tell you exactly what it alters. That is your accessories. Here are your cosmetics. If you've managed to unlock any stickers, you'll be able to put them on your gun. You even have access to weapon charms once you've unlocked them, which is super cool. It's really simple. In order to add a sticker, this took me a little while to figure out. Click on it, resize it, shape it, you know, alter the way that it sits, however you wish. And then make sure you click the little tick in the top right hand corner of the box. It's that simple to add those into your guns. The final tab I want to take a look at is the mods tab. And there are pretty easy ways to get tons of mods. You will find them as you loot bases and loot locations. There are heaps of different types, ones that'll do added added uh, specialized damage. As you can see, we've got a ton of different ones here. Uh, as you play the game, you will find these and unlock more of these, and you will be able to craft them at some point down the line. I haven't done that yet, so I'm not super versed in this, but make sure you've actually got these attached to your weapon. It took me ages. Again, it took me so long to attach all of this to all of my gear, which means I was just doing baseline damage and these make a massive difference. So like just taking into account this, this gives just core weapon damage plus 9%. You can put that on every item of your gear if you've got enough of them and you're going to be doing what an extra 40%, which is insane. There's just so much extra damage that I was missing out on for so long. And that's the reason I'm doing this tutorial video is because I know that there are people out there that are like me who didn't pay attention. So hopefully this helps you out. So yeah, um, select the one that you want, double click on it and it'll equip it. Plain and simple, nice and easy. We love it when stuff is simple. That's your uh, weapons. Then you've got your gear. And one massive thing too, this is a really important thing for gear, your gloves in particular. Okay, upgrading them and calibrating them is an essential thing because it helps in capturing your deviants. For gear, the only option you have, you don't have accessories, don't have extra things, you literally just have the mods. So make sure you've got mods attached to these when you need them. Um, you've got individual mods for what can be added to each one, as you can see here. So not everything will work with every piece of gear. Just keep that in mind because you might have a ton of really good mods floating around in your inventory, but they might not be usable on the piece of equipment that you have. That's pretty much it for your gear. It's literally just making sure that you've taken the time to go through, add your mods and add your accessories. It'll help you do more damage across the game. And especially when you're pushing into those higher tier areas that we now have access to, you're going to need it. It is essential. I walked into a boss fight earlier with bad stuff and I got destroyed. So make sure you're spending the time to get to know how to use your gear, how to upgrade it, how to calibrate it, all the good stuff. Make sure you're doing that. And yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I know it helped me in learning everything properly before recording this. So I'm hoping this helps out other people. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you in a future video.